morning and welcome. My name is Doris. Now, this is going to be a teaching. It's going to be a preaching. It's going to be some spiritual insight and a word that I'm going to share with you today. I'm just going to multitask everything. And I'm sorry, I'm not on camera again. And I'm still working on that issue with my phone, but it is okay. Before we get to this teaching of today and this word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. I thank you for this opportunity to share your word. I pray, Lord, that this word is going to be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Philippians 1, 6, it says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it into to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. In Psalms 138, 8, it says, The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Genesis 2, 2 says, And on the seventh day, God entered his work, which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had done. Knowledge and understanding is always important. So many people, they always want a prophetic word. They always just want to be told what God is saying, what God is saying about them. But having knowledge and understanding is more important because it gives you an upper hand over your enemy. And that is why, that is why I usually love to teach. You see, we have begun a new season and the only way that you're going to be ready for this season is if you choose to partner with Holy Spirit and allow him to lead you and to show you the way to go. He says in 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God and Jeremiah 30, 33 and 3, it says, Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. In Daniel 2 and 22, it says, he reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. Every time a new season begins, things always seem blurry. Things, things will seem foggy. There is usually uncertainty and confusion as to why, as to how how to proceed and that is why you need Holy Spirit to guide you. You need Holy Spirit to direct you. Hearing God, obeying God, following through with his instruction is key to be able to navigate through the beginning of a new season. And I you see, I think I said this in a previous in a previous video that God has been ministering to me a lot on obedience lately and following through with his instructions. With God, partial obedience is still disobedience. You have to obey fully to work out his promise in your life. Sometimes the instructions God gives you may be totally unrelated to that which you are praying for or that which you have been leaving God for but just trust him just obey him obey the instruction that is where so many people miss it you start walking in obedience and then along the way you get distracted you deviate the Lord is saying to you to obey fully the instructions that he has given you. There is a perfection and a completion that is coming into your life. Jericho, I think, was the most fortified city that the children of Israel had to conquer. It says in scripture that it was sharp because of them. Nothing got in and nothing got out. And the instruction that God gave them to take down that city was totally the 
ridiculous. It did not make sense to the natural mind. There are breakthroughs that are going to come in your life in this season. Moving forward, that has nothing to do with what you know. Has nothing to do with your own strength, with your own striving. It's going to come supernaturally through your obedience to the instructions that God gives you. The instructions may not make sense to you. It may look silly. It may look plain ridiculous. Just trust and obey. He is bringing completion and perfection into your life. He wants you to enter into his rest. God wants you to rest with him and it cannot happen by your own strength. It's going to be by his spirit. Most of the time in July, we always start to see the beginning of the new that God is bringing in our lives and in the days to come. You may not grasp the whole picture at the beginning, but it's going to continue to unfold as days go by. You are coming out of your dry season and where where there has been drought, the Lord is releasing waters of his spirit into your life, into your soul. There are enemies who try to get you to give up. There are times when the burdens were too heavy. The burden was too much for you, but the Lord is removing the spirit of burden from off of you. The Lord is causing all your cares to roll off. The Lord is sending you a supernatural provision, a financial breakthrough and he's calling you out of luck. The Lord is calling you out of poverty. He's bringing completion and perfection into your life. Trust and obey him. Last month, just towards the end of last month, I think it was the last week, I lost two of my aunties. They all died in a space of one week and I was disturbed by it because you see, I usually don't look at things in the natural, especially things that 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 are that are not normal that are, are out of the ordinary i don't see things from a physical natural perspective and when i see things happen out of the ordinary i will always seek god about it and concerning this issue the lord said to me it is a prophetic marker there is a season that has ended. We are coming into a new season. The drought is over. The season of luck is over. You have made it. You have crossed over into the land of the living. You are stepping out of your wilderness and into your promised land. You are going to access new dimensions, dimensions of supernatural increase. You have to be faithful in your obedience. You must pay attention to the instructions. You must must pay attention to the leading of the Holy Spirit. There is a completion and a perfection that is coming your way and God wants you to rest with him. He is going to overshadow you with his goodness. The Lord is going to overshadow you with his blessing and you are going to experience his tangible promise in this season. Just trust and obey. That is what the Lord is saying to you. May the Lord abundantly bless you. I love you all so much and the Lord loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in Christ Jesus. Remember, trust and obey for there is no other way. I love that hymn. God bless you.